Good morning, it's Joe. It's Tuesday, May 16th, about 11 a.m. It's going to be raining later today, but we have this overcast situation that's like the early dawn. And the birds are, the spring dawn, the spring chorus of New England birds is more active uh, in the morning due to that overcast conditions, I think. It's been just wonderful to hear them chirping out there. I'm sort of, I'm going to give you the tour of a landscaping project of mine. Uh, that's obviously, we're looking at the house now. And as you can see, once a year you change the prayer flags. And the new ones are bright because they're just out of the wrapper. Uh, makes me feel good. I've got more and I'm going to put them in down here. Well, I've spent a lot of time messing around with talking about my uh, seasonal stream that goes just within the border of my property abutting the fire department and various adventures with it. And one of the things that I've done has been cleaned it out and widened it and had better drainage through it during the high water. And consequently, I've had really no problems with water in my cellar this winter. Of course, having a working sump pump has something to do with it, but uh, that's a big improvement on the inside. So that's the main reason for starting it off with was it just seemed like the water flow through here was sluggish. Now what's happening is, I haven't had a serious rainstorm in a couple of weeks, and in the dry part of the summer, this goes dry. And so it's what we would call a seasonal uh, stream feeding a vernal pool. Now, in the evenings around here, I have been getting spring peepers, both on the vernal pool to the north of me, which is where we're looking, and the one to the south of me, which is three quarters of my property. And what's happening is that um, I've wanted to clean out all the leaves from here because it's actually got a wider section at this end of it than you would think. So what we've got here is it's probably a drop off of about five feet and it's why we can still see there's water coming through here and we've got ferns and uh, pine trees and stuff. Uh, over here is the that's the berm to the fire pond. Uh, so but anyway what's happened is I've gotten many of the leaves out. It could, it's going to use some more, but it doesn't all have to be today because it's starting to spit rain. But basically I've got an area here that's uh, got sand on it underneath all these dead leaves. And it widens out very nicely. And my thinking has been I'm doing early season landscaping on the outside before I move into some projects that I've got. And I think there is a long-term plan for this area, which is to have a um, flower garden down here, mostly on the banks. And I was even thinking I'll make it into my um, tea area. Uh, it's just like Fantasize about what you can do. This will be like the uh, Tibetan tea garden of uh, Thorndike, Maine. Makes me feel happy to think of it that way. And uh, one of the things is when my grandson's down here, he has a ball just playing in this little brook, um, running his trucks across the bridge, all that kind of stuff. So that's been... Funny, he's got the Nimzuri gene where basically what he does is he loves to dig dirt and he already knows all about how to use a shovel. Um, we're walking up closer to the house and that's the goat house with the chickens across the street. You can see the water's running. Let me turn around here and then you can kind of get an idea. That's the sandy area. If I just... Uh, rake a bunch of this off, this whole thing will be sand, which is essentially road sand that's come down from 
uh, when in winter time when there's high water. But uh, and it's a little buggy today, so not exactly the time to come over for tea inside. But I'll tea outside. But I'll serve you some inside, and then. Um, You can just enjoy the birds from here. Uh, I wish I was better at that. I believe that's a cat bird up in the tree. Um, you want to tell us your name? No, I guess not. But anyway, that's what it looks like. There's the road. I'm going to get a better plank to use as a bridge. Um, catch you later. Bye.